legend sunrise paints my skin. Even with my eyes still closed, I can feel it coming in. Golden, I'll follow home. Golden, 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 golden things. Well, good morning and welcome to another vlog. Um, and welcome to a lovely morning on Beverly Westwood, um, very close to where I live. So I just came out for a local shoot this morning. Um, I am still in the early parts of autumn, so I'm um, not sure how much autumn colour I'm going to see, but that's generally what I'm looking for. And I think in this video I'd like to focus on using that in different ways. So using a polarizer, using the autumn colours as a background interest for depth of field, um, and looking for textures as well. And the first shot I found here, straight away, um, is to do with all about texture, so I'm going to show you what I'm working with right now. Okay, so welcome into the uh, Nikon D7500 again. This is a slightly different composition to how I framed it up. Um, when I am shooting on this camera in um, 4K, it just it, it crops in a little bit closer. I think it's because it's a crop sensor camera, um, my limited understanding. Um, but I've just spotted this lovely um, fallen. Um, tree branch. There's quite a lot of these scattered around this part of the westwood that really make for a nice um, foreground interest and what I really like is all along the, this sort of surface there's these lovely grooves and textures so I've taken a few varieties of shot, some where I've gone in nice and close and some where I'm actually just using branches in the background um, as uh, sort of like leading lines I suppose while they're, they're taking you out of the shot. Um, but I just think they frame it quite nicely. It sort of reminds me a bit of like a stag. So we've got something nice and central um, with these um, gnarled branches sort of twisting their way away from the centre. So yeah, um, something a little bit different. So um, I'll show you that shot now and then I'm going to head on into the woods. But a lot more of the uh, footage from today is probably going to be inside the camera. Um, just to really show you what it's like and, and what I see. So, Miles in spring. Rainbow trout and hummingbird wing. Golden. I'll follow him. Golden. Golden. Golden things. Gold hair. Okay, so not long have I been into the woodland and I have been distracted by a lovely fern. Um, what I really like is that from beneath, um, you can see all of them. Now I think these are called fruiting bodies, I'm not 100% sure, but these small sorts of seeds on the underside of the leaf. Um, and when it's backlit, um, with that beautiful light, as you can see behind, um, really sort of illuminates them. So um, issues with this shot are, obviously I really want a nice depth of field, which means a wide aperture. Um, but what that means is then working out which part of the leaf you actually want in focus. It can be a little bit frustrating because ideally you'd want the whole leaf in focus um, with a nice soft background. I could do that by focus stacking it. Um, I don't tend to be a big fan of, of doing those kinds of shots and I quite like the bits of the shot that are out of focus. So right in the middle I've gone for sharp focus. Um, and actually again, because you're in the camera, it's a slightly different composition. So that gives me a nice idea of what a 16 by 9 crop might look like on this image, which <clears throat> is a possibility. We'll have a look when I get it back into the uh, computer. But I'll take that shot now, and hopefully you enjoy that one. It's a nice, quiet morning in the woods. There's lovely birds song everywhere, so... Yeah, I'm glad I got up. A little bit later than planned. But... Beautiful. I don't know how well this is going to come out on the actual video because it's very dark still um, in the bit of the woods that I'm in. It is uh, nearly five to eight now, um, but it's quite a heavy canopy over to, over the head in this bit of the uh, of the woods. Um, this is Burton Bushes, um, which is the woodland just at the top of the Westwood. Loads and loads of opportunities for shots in here. So if you haven't been in before and you like woodland photography, I'd highly recommend it. Um, I've said many times before, whenever I come here, I find different places and different routes. I actually just walked past someone in a tent. I've never seen someone camping in here before. Anyway, 
um, a, a kind of autumn shot I always like to take, I certainly took one of these last year, is just taking um, a sort of top down shot. So I've got my camera set up over the um, woodland floor. Uh, at the moment in this part of the woods, there's quite a lot of, um, well, there's an awful lot of, of autumn leaves um, on the on the woodland floor, not so many up in the canopy. So at this time of year when, you know, we're still waiting for some of the color to, to come, um, this is a nice alternative option. And I've just got one leaf um, that's a different shade, a nice yellow leaf um, that's a nice contrast to all of the um, slightly dead and more greener leaf, uh, leaves around the outside. I have actually moved this leaf. Um, I haven't picked it off a tree, I would never do that, but it was on the floor about two feet from where it is and I picked it up and just put it into a slightly more um, even and um, sort of visually appealing section. Um, so I've actually shot this, I think the settings was about the first one was about a 30 second exposure um, which the camera didn't really seem to like um, so I, I've taken some varieties of that some with some higher um, ISO to just get a bit more light in but it should be a nice sharp image with some contrasting colour so that's one way that you can um, photograph woodland in autumn is just pointing your camera down and seeing what you can see below so hopefully you enjoy that one So I've just popped onto my phone um, camera now just to show you this part of the, uh, the westward of the Burton bushes. Thankfully it's still early so there's not too many people walking down here because I do not like talking to myself. I'm just going to take you through this bit but really this part of the westward, I've always found this woodland bit to be a bit of a puzzle. And you'll see just as I'm taking you through, there's lots of interest. There's this den that's been built in the middle which I quite like. And there's all sorts of twisted branches crossing each other but trying to find the composition that gives you the same idea of um, the, the sort of maze of branches but also that's visually pleasing to the eye and has a nice balance is really really hard I feel like it is like trying to complete a very difficult puzzle trying to work out which pieces go where and I've been wandering around and I'm bring you back around this way what's lovely is that the floor is covered in autumn leaves um, in the winter it can get quite black mud because there's a lot of people walk through here. Um, and coming back this way towards what I've set up, it's really tricky. Um, so I think I've found a couple of compositions. So I'm hoping to get at least two pictures here. Um, and I'll be using a polarizer to really make sure that I'm bringing out all the oranges on the floor. And I'll boost those in Lightroom a little bit as well because it looks much nicer than it actually looks on the camera there. It's much more vibrant. But yeah, this guy here in the middle often is quite a prominent shape. So my first composition I think is there. But um, yeah, it's absolutely beautiful to walk through. But trying to get this whole idea um, is difficult. I do like that perspective actually. I've been looking at this one and actually on a wider view. You can get a nice maze of branches there, so that could be one. It's really helpful walking around with your phone sometimes. So, yeah, let's get set up and uh, see what we can make work. Okay, so this is the first composition that I've got set up where I'm focusing on this tree in the foreground. Um, which has got quite a nice prominent shape, like a couple of arms coming out. And I've actually anchored the composition with this tree over on this side. I think it's this one over on this side to just give a bit of balance. I don't know if that makes it messy or not, I'm not sure. Um, and then in the background, we've got these nice tangled and sort of weaving branches. Um, I've got the polarizer on, which is taking some of the sheen out of the leaves. And there are some bright patches up in this part of the image. Um, that I might just drop down in Lightroom, but yeah, 
not a bad one to start so I'll take that shot and um, let's see how that looks. Okay, so this is the composition that I'm sort of trying to work with now, but I really can't get on with it, I've got to admit. Um, I like the focus of the shelter, and that looks quite nice from this angle where you can see the branch coming out from the back of it. I've got it anchored, anchored, sort of sandwiched between these two trees. I've actually left it so I've got the path because I want those distant trees as well, but that leaves a lot of empty space around here that I just think looks messy. Um, but if I try and come this way, it might, I then don't get the background branches. So I'll try and take a couple of shots. It's also because it's getting lighter now, um, well into the morning. It's quite bright at the top of the image as well. So I don't know, I always have this here. Tried it on my phone, it looked great. As soon as I get the camera on it, I don't know. I mean, it, 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 probably because I'm shooting raw, I need to edit it as well. I'm trying to visualise what an edit might look like, but yeah. Not sure about this one. I'll take it, um, but I might come around this side and shoot the shelter going off that way. Maybe a bit closer, get some depth of field. Um, but this is at about f11, I think this one's so pretty much sharp front to back. I'm hoping the eye will be led, but I just don't know if this path is just going to lead your eye right off that way and you're actually going to... Obviously you see the subject, but you won't be focusing on that. So anyway, you can be the judge and I'll put that on now. Okay, so I think this is probably the last shot I'll show you on this video. Um, I've actually gone a lot lower um, and I'm using the leaves on the forest floor um, as a nice foreground interest. I've tried some different variations on the composition where they're really out of focus and really low and one at f11 where they're a little bit sharper um, but the focus is this shelter. I don't know if this huge branch going off out of the frame is a big distraction uh, I don't know, but I quite like it. Oh, sorry, if I'm disrupting the sound of my microphone. This is a very noisy jacket when I've got the microphone on. Um, so yeah, nice image. There's no light on it. I suppose that's the one thing that might add to it if there was a bit of light on the um, woodland floor, but that can be disruptive and cause shadow. So yeah, I think I'll stop the video there. So thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed coming into the woodland in the Westwood. Um, and I will be with you again very soon for more autumnal shots um, as the colours begin to you know, explode into life even more so take care of yourselves and I'll see you then. Okay so I really had actually finished <laughs> recording but I always like to Sort of do one last wonder before I leave. So I came out the other side of the woodland out onto the westward um, and saw this branch that's been covered in um, a kind of lichen, I think, mossy, yellowy stuff. Um, and saw it from a distance and thought, well, that looks okay. It's always worth going to have a look. So I've wandered over and there's this amazing scene where this is literally the very last berry that is on this branch, um, on this whole, yeah, this sort of trunk that's, that's snapped off um, with just these brown leaves next to it I just think it's a lovely scene and then I've put the lens on it and there's this gorgeous bocca that's just the highlights behind it giving quite a nice bluey kind of look to it so I think I'll really bring out those blues and yellows um, in Lightroom afterwards so yeah lovely and you can just see it there twinkling in the background and um, like fairy lights almost so very very pleased with that one um, so I just wanted to um, quickly talk you through that and show you that image now before I finish. So again, thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon.